All right, let's recap. I showed you what a moor is, and I told you what a moor is. A moor is a name given to people on the continent from outsiders. I gave you examples of, of moors. So the whole American moors premise is based on bullshit. It's a sham. It's flim flam. It's a house of cards. But you may be saying, well, we got all these paintings of Moors. Okay, well, let's address that right now. goes a few more. All of these paintings are 18th and 19th century bullshit reproductions. All of them. From European sources. This Rembrandt, two more. But all of them are 18th, 19th century paintings. From outsiders. Bullshit. That don't mean anything. I can show you the capacity of real moors. You think he got balls or not? He's just watching over the mosque or the palace. But let us show, well, let me show you the capacity of Moors. Let me show you what the blacks were doing with the Arabs and Berbers. Because it's funny how you can skip over the, the Arab slave trade, the Berber slave trade, and the Trans-Saharan slave trade, and the Indian Ocean slave trade, and somehow you manage to take over Spain. I find it quite amazing. Let me show you what the blacks were doing. Peep this out yourself. Well bred Moorish girl. Sold for a few dollars. This is actually true. He's a guard or a soldier. You can tell by his dress. The main capacity was soldiers. Guards and eunuchs. Basically a bunch of flunkies. So let's keep moving. Alright. Let's go to goes the sultan or as they would say the white one check the phases out those the black ones Man from Timbuktu. Now look at these flunkies. Look at the flunkies with their faces on.
That's the capacity. I don't think that's a dope photo in here. Hold up. Check this out in the Congo. I, I haven't even mentioned Tipu tip, tip yet. And the whole ethnicity thing with the Arabs. This is kind of middle school, but we stand in elementary right now. This the Congo. But we dealing with the Moors right now. So let's keep moving. All right, let's keep it moving. Remember those flunkies I showed you? Because when that horse move, those flunkies got to move with it. When that horse move, those flunkies got to move. You might be asking, where the black ones at? Oh, I'm going to show you. When that horse move, those flunkies move. Those flunkies are eunuchs, administrators, jurors. Look at the black ones in the back. Look at the flunkies run with the horse. Run, flunky, run. With the feds is on. Eunuchs now, no balls. Recommendation was to the belly. That means they have no shelf or balls. Nothing, just a hole. This is what the people in America claiming. Moors. And you want to know how they get their fezes in West Africa. How did they get the fezes in West Africa? Let me show you that before I go. All right. This is how you get the fez caps in West Africa. North Africans brought cloth and clothing. Fez caps. Yeah, man. That's where your fans kept come from in West Africa. From slaves. Unless you want to call all these people your brothers. Also, man, I didn't even get into the advanced stuff. I didn't even get into the the caliphates and the dynasties. I didn't even mention the, the caliphs, the emirs and the emirates or the sub-emirates who had to report to the emirates and the emirates who had to report to the sub-emirs and the emirs had to report to the to the jurists and the surrounding council, councils and high government officials in the Islamic government. I didn't even get into all that. I didn't even mention Mohammed Bello, uh, Usman Dun Fadio, and the whole Sokoto Caliphate. I didn't even mention Muhammadu Marway. Because this stuff here is, is simple. Y'all claiming Moors and this Moors stuff is bullshit. I'm I'm out. Out. I almost forgot about this bullshit.